Kevin, that sure is a beautiful sight. Ten of the rats. Nothing? These orders came for you from headquarters. Oh, boy, my leave orders. Two solid weeks of babes and beverages. Hey, what's this? And we'll proceed to headquarters, Army Air Forces, Washington, D.C. What do they want with me in Washington? I know how you hate leaving the combat zone, Captain. But the job we've got for you is just as important, if not more so. The transition from training to combat has been too sudden. There have been needless casualties. They've had to learn the hard way. That's why we need officers like you, Captain. We want you to give these pilots the benefit of your combat experience. Show them all the tricks. Because when they get it from fellas like you, they get it hot from the front. Believe me, fellas, when I tell you the advantages of this combat formation, I'm not just dreaming it up. I'm giving it to you as hard as you can possibly get it. So peel an ear, because for fighter pilots, this is the bio. Sir. Yes, sir. Tom Morgan's airplane is ready, sir. Excuse me, Captain. I'd sure like to stay and listen, but I have to do upstairs now. Uh, look, Lieutenant. In a couple of months, you'll be playing for keeps. So you better start right now. That Chino lounge suit you're wearing is all right for indoor sports, but it wouldn't be much help with fire like that. Did. Yes, sir. You don't want to get too casual, Lieutenant. You fly nice and easy, you get into bad habits. Remember, clothes make the fighter pilot. Always wear your helmet, coveralls, gloves, and boots. That's an order. Yes, sir. When you're on the alert over there, always be fully clothed. Keep your cockpit in shape so you can get the hell off the ground in 30 seconds. Remember, every minute wasted in joining up means 3,000 feet of altitude you won't have when you need it most. Thank you, sir. The proper way to get in formation is to give the fellow off ahead about oh, six rings of deflection as soon as you have sufficient airspeed. That way, you're alongside in a flash. Never trail along behind. It takes twice as long to catch up. Captain, what's this combat formation we've been hearing about? Is it good? It's the only combat formation. It's better than good. Better than the V formation? It sure is, and I'll show you why. Now, uh, here's a combat formation that didn't stand the test of modern combat. In order to maintain this formation, three men have to give at least 30% of their attention to holding their position. This means they have only 70% of their time to devote to watching for enemy formations. And most important, for watching their tails. And look at Tail End Charlie there. He knows that if an attack comes, he's the guy who's going to get it. Because stragglers always get killed. That's the reason for this new combat formation. Four in line, abreast. No stragglers. Let's study it. Here is the flight. The two ship element is the basis on which all our combat tactics are built. The two elements flying together cover each other's tails, five to seven spans apart. There is no tail end Charlie. No one man is sticking his neck out. It takes about 5% of your attention to maintain this formation. Consequently, with every man searching the skies 95% of the time, enemy formations are spotted while still a good distance away. After a little practice, you can stay in position without ever looking at the other airplane. Captain, what happens when you're attacked as you're flying in combat formation? That's easy. In the first place, you'll see him long before he gets within firing range. And the spacing between aircraft is such that if one element is attacked, the element at the other side of the formation is at the exact distance where they can throttle back and turn into the attacker for a head-on shot. And remember, all of this happens before he can get near enough to be dangerous. Now, let's see how it works. When a pilot spots a rat, he calls the leader who may assign the port element to deal with him. Now watch. They throttle back and wait until that rat is committed to his dive about 700 yards away. Then turns sharply into him. Rat loses interest quick, breaks from attack and dives away. Most enemy fighters are easily discouraged and will break away from an attack provided you turn toward them. After the action, notice how smoothly the element comes back into formation. We got a lot of those boys that way. Sucks them in every time. Because it looks so innocent from the rear. Captain, how about turns within formation? Just a crossover. Looks complicated, but it's very easy. Number one aircraft is the leader. His number two is on the right. The second element, three and four, are on the left. If the leader decides to turn 90 degrees to the left, each pilot will cross over. Look at number two. When the leader is turned away from, he uses full throttle, pulls straight up, and crosses over top of him. Now look at three and four. When the leader turns toward them, they drop down and cross under, all arriving in position at the same time. 
Well, let's try that all over again. Number one starts the turn toward three and four, who drop down, crossing underneath him. Number two goes straight up over top. At the completion of the turn, the aircraft are again in perfect line. You will notice that the elements have now changed sides. They change with every turn, but that's unimportant. Now let's look at a squadron of 12 aircraft, properly deployed in combat formation. The distance between flights is approximately 500 and 700 yards, depending on sun visibility. If the squadron turns, the same form as shown previously is used. The lead flight begins the turn. The flight that is turned toward will drop down and cross under. The flight turned away from will pull up and cross over. It is, of course, necessary at the same time for the individual aircraft in the flight to cross as before. Now, when the enemy approaches for attack, he frequently sees only one or two flights, and in maneuvering for attack, lays himself wide open, as the third flight turns to meet him in the same manner in which the element did in our previous diagram. Always attack enemy bombers head on. The first job of a fighter pilot is to knock down enemy bombers, and the best way to do that is to go straight at them, head on.